146-pound weight class. Fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing the white trunks with the black and gold trim and weighing in at 146 pounds. He represents Toro MMA with a 1-0 record from New Jersey, Lonnie Russo. And fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing the green trunks and also weighing in at 146 pounds. Representing Rebel Thai Boxing from New York, Ryan Rebel Catizzone. Justin Greskowitz provides the instructions for these two young fighters about to do battle at 146 pounds. Ryan Catazone, AKA Rebel, on the left side of your screen, representing Rebel Thai Boxing in Smithtown, New York, takes on Lonnie Russo, who represents the teams of Toro MMA and Pure MMA in Rockaway, New Jersey. Lonnie's 1-0. He beat Marcus Vishakini in this very ring. Ladies and gentlemen, it is also very March important that there is no flash photography. It is dangerous to our ago, athletes, okay? No flashes. Thank now you very much. And tries to make it two in a row against Catazone, who's making his debut this evening. And a strong start for Catazone. They are not wasting any time. <laughs> a couple of right hands and some knees to the midsection have Russo under fire here. He is punishing that rib with those knees, isn't he? Oh, I think you heard him with that right hand. Kind of chopped him on the side of the head. Switching knees is Catazone right now. Hot start for the man from Smithtown, New York. It, it's, it's such a different style, the fights here in Thailand. I'm used to the first round being kind of a feeling out round, and these guys are going at it. Always guaranteed fireworks on Friday night fights, and we are seeing that in round one between Russo in the, in the white trunks and Catazone in the green. Kind of throwing a club in right hand there, chopping on the side of Russo's head. Russo's, Russo's kind of pushing his punches. I'd like to see him get a little more. So he's a strong, strong in the clinch, kind of almost like he was wrestling, throwing him by the head. Nice turn there for the moment, but Catazone comes right back at him. Body kick followed by a knee to the ribs again from Catazone. Yeah, Catazone's clinch is very, very effective. He's getting a lot of leverage and a lot of room to throw those knees up to the body of Ryan, Russo. Ryan Catazone punishing Lonnie Russo's midsection. Yeah, just driving round. those knees in there. Russo has no defense for it other than a head throw. <laughs> and this pure strength by Lonnie Russo muscling Catazone down to the mat. Just eating those knees. I'd like to see him bring his leg across the thigh of Catazone and try to shut those knees down. This goes right back to it. And a ton of redness on the midsection, as you can imagine. And another Lonnie one. Russo. Referee separates him. Good Russo. left kick, fell off balance a little bit there, getting a little too excited. Russo blocked the head kick there. Final 10 seconds of round one. Catazone bursting onto the scene here. Good defense. Nice tight defense with those punches. Kept his arms tight by the side of his head. Well, Ryan Rebel Catazone starts his career off in impressive fashion. That first round was a bevy of knees and kicks to the midsection of Lonnie Russo. He definitely came out on fire, didn't he? That was outstanding. And if you see on the left side of your screen, right there, his coach, a former fighter in his own right, that's Rod Williams, also known as Rodzilla, has fought on Friday Night Fights before, now coaching at Rebel Tide Boxing in Smithtown. So obviously training his pupil well. And right there, Lonnie Russo, representing the crew, as we said, from Toro MMA and Pure MMA in Rockaway, New Jersey. Andy, Megan, Andy Main and Craig Hannigan in Lonnie's corner tonight. His trainer at Pure MMA is Tommy Espinosa. Yeah, I've seen Andy Main before. He's an MMA fighter from New Jersey. Set for action in round number two. Ryan Catazone. Very energetic in that first round. Can he keep the pace up in round two? Again, right back to those knees. Yeah, I guess he found success with that in the first round. He's going back to it. And he also caught the top of. He's just Russo's. walking him down with those knees. 
Had his own also caught the top of Lonnie Russo's thigh there as well. Those can start to pile up as well. He's going to feel those tomorrow when he wakes up, isn't he? The old Charlie horse oh. kneeing, kneeing the quads. I'm sure Jason Stroud, you felt your fair share of those. Yeah, those aren't fun, that's for sure. They stick with you. You go to sit down the next day, you feel it. Good right kick. Got his own trying to open up here. A little, little off balance in that punch combination, but that, I, I'd expect that from a debuter. And I'm wondering if that's partially fatigue as well. He's been working so hard. Yeah, he's just, to... yeah, it's like he got shot out of a cannon. Now, Russo obviously in outstanding condition in his own right. He's trying to weather the storm here. He's doing a pretty good job. He's taking some, some vicious knees from the 20 year old Catazone so far. Still hanging in there. Yeah, he just, I think he ate every single knee that Catazone threw it. He just keeps walking through him, trying to Ru give a couple knees of his own. Russo slipped a punch there and stuck a left knee in to Catazone's midsection. Again, Catazone in the green trunks with the blue shin pads. Lonnie Russo in the white with the red shin pads. I like the way that Catazone just kind of repositioned his arms on the inside. A more dominant clinch before he started throwing the knees. You can tell he spent a lot of time in the gym doing, working on clinching. It's definitely showing here tonight in the, in the fight. Finally a moment's breather for Lonnie Russo, but he ends up getting a kick to the midsection anyway. Good kick to the knee combo. Just keeps firing those knees in. Again and again and again. I don't know how he's standing. Couple inch height advantage for Catazone here. Five foot eight to Russo's five six. He's been using it to his advantage. Even though they've been fighting in close quarters, it's been Catazone able to extend those, those knees into Russo's midsection. But amazingly, as you said, Jason, incredible fortitude by Alani. He stays, he's still standing in his corner. He's not even taking the breather. He, he did look like he was walking back a little slower after that round. I'm not sure he's gonna want to even sit down. He looks as this cornerman slaps him in the ribs. I think he's taking enough there. I'd leave that alone. <laughs> Ariel Agami with Jason Stroud, ringside of the Broad Street Ballroom. Another installment of the longest running Muay Thai series in North America, Friday Night Fights. Brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. You're watching Ryan Rebel Catazone. Ladies and gentlemen, make, make sure debut. you get a red raffle ticket at and the door to win a week's free screen. meal prep from the Prep Life, Very impressive located at the side for info. Fight. If you don't win, get 10% off the Prep Life and Pure Platonics using promo code FNM, FNFMT. I'm just impressed how these newer guys have such good technique. You know, 10, 10 years ago, I'm starting to show my age. Let's say 10, 8 years ago, the new guys would be a little bit more wild and kind of come out and didn't have such a good, strong foundation, a good technique. It's, it's quite impressive how far this, this game has come here in the States. Russo got in a good straight left hand, but... Catazone will not slow down. Right back to the knees to the rib cage. Just keeps bringing it right underneath that arm and just driving him home. Big time showing for Ryan Rebel Catazone in his first fight. Very smart. He's found something that works and he's sticking with it. You know, he's trying to mix other things in, which is great. He's trying the punches, he's trying the kicks, but you know, if you're having success with the knees, I'd stick with them. There he goes again, just keep driving it home. Boy, Russo, Russo is strong, isn't he? Outstanding strength by Lonnie Russo there. Just tosses Catazone aside. Gets but, underneath the punch there. But Rebel keeps it on coming. Right back to work in the clinch. Justin Greskowitz will break up the two fighters for a moment. Oh, nice kick to the ribcage there by Catazone. And another knee right down Broadway. Uppercut for Catazone. Yeah, beautiful display at the clinch here tonight. Ryan Catazone looking school beyond his years. Really impressive showing and plenty of energy in that 20 year old frame. Lonnie Russo, to his credit, oh. has eaten a ton of punishment. Just timed it right underneath the punch. There he goes again, driving that thing home. Then he sneaks in a body shot. <laughs> Final seconds of action here. As Catazone and Russo go all three on Friday night fights. Outstanding effort for both of these young men. And Catazone, an outstanding debut. Great performance by Ryan. Sounds like he was working the heavy bag with those knees. 
So Ryan Rebel Catazone out of Rebel Thai Boxing. And understand the nickname choice in Smithtown, New York, under his coach Rod Williams. Really wonderful effort here in his opening fight. On the other side, Lonnie Russo trying to move to 2-0 in his young career. Yeah, Lonnie, was, Lonnie was a game fighter. You know, he was in there the whole three rounds and kept trying. He just didn't have an answer for those knees. I'm sure once he figures it out, he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. He's a strong kid. Really incredible how he was able to exhibit that strength even after the assault on the midsection. Yeah, and he just kept coming forward. Stuck in there, though. Outstanding effort by Russo. See how the judges see this fight. We await the judge's decision here. We have it. Let's go to Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we do go to the judge's scorecard. And all three judges see this 27-30 in unanimous favor of Ryan Rebel Catizzone. Well, we've seen a 19-year-old and a 20-year-old come out of the gates on fire tonight. Jason Stroud, Ryan Rebel Catazone with a clinic of knees to the midsection and a unanimous decision win to begin his career. Pretty impressive stuff. Very impressive. Congratulations to Ryan and the team from Rebel Tie Boxing.